Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another video. Today we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price. We also gonna have a look into Ethereum and at the end also into the DXY and Nasdaq. We're gonna have to check where we closed yesterday on Friday. So before we start with the content, let's check out here the CME chart because remember that during the weekend we always have play time and most of the times we are coming back towards the close of the CMEs on Friday as soon as we start another week. So the CMEs closed yesterday here at $49,200. So wherever we are going during this weekend, on Monday as soon as the CMEs are starting again, we most likely are going to retrace back to that level. And what we are seeing right now here on the spot chart is a failure in pushing up here towards our target of this breeder here of around 53 to 54k for the moment. I still think that we are about to get here very soon a breeder towards those targets to retest this 54k area. If it's going to be a resistance, then we're going to see definitely follow through to the downside. But if we are able to push higher, then I think we could be out of the woods and look towards new all time highs very soon for Bitcoin. But right now, at the moment, it looks like that we will continue to push lower because in the lower time frames, we are still in a downtrend and there are still no signs that we could push higher right now because as you can see yesterday we tried to push above the EMA ribbons here in the one hour time frame this is also where I put a stop loss in my own long position from 50k and now of course I got stopped out in profits so that's why I'm looking right now for a new long entry and I think it's a good idea right now to wait until we're getting bullish signals in the bigger time frames like the daily time frame because uh, since we are still in a downtrend now especially here in the lower time frames I think the best thing is to just wait and be patient for now and wait for the next good buy and long opportunity because the risk is very high here that we could fall again towards the low 40s before we definitely bottom out here so if we go over into the four our time frame you can see that with yesterday's move we got very close to the 20 moving average in the four hour time frame here at 53k but uh, we had a bigger rejection here before we were reaching this price level and right now we are seeing continuation to the downside so here in the four hour money flow is still extremely negative we also got a sell signal and the rsi is trading way below the 50 level so even though we are seeing continuation to the downside within this falling channel here i'm expecting very soon to have a breather to the upside but as long as we are not getting here positive money flow and also a nice buy signal like we had over here with this bottom here at around 47k i still think that we are headed lower and probably as soon as the CMEs are starting to trade again, maybe then we're going to see another reversal towards 49k because otherwise we would have a new CME gap above of us. And if we go now over into the daily time frame, here you can see that also in my own indicator we are still not getting any kind of buy signal so as long as here we are not getting a buy signal i still remain more bearish i think that bitcoin will head lower or go sideways here and as soon as here we are getting a positive buy signal i think then we're gonna see a nice breather to the upside to potentially retest here the top of the ema ribbons and the 20 daily moving average here at around 54k and then we're gonna see if here we are able to create a big double bottom formation and have a big breakout to the upside towards new all-time highs or if maybe we're gonna see here continuation to the downside towards the low 40s and therefore also potentially test the 200 daily moving average which currently is at around 40k and if we're gonna repeat something similar like in 2013 where we had two tops during one bull run then it's very likely that sooner or later we're coming down to test the 200 daily moving average and from there on then bounce again to the upside because in 2013 after the first top we corrected down after a couple of weeks and months to the 200 daily moving average and afterwards we continued our parabolic move towards the cycle top of that bull market so if we're going to repeat something similar we might going to stay in this 50k area maybe low 40s for a couple of more time here before we definitely bottom out and then of course see big continuations to the 
upside because we're still in miners capitulation we still have no buy signal in the hash ribbon indicator and also my own indicator we still have to wait here for a buy signal in the daily time frame and there is also a chance that we could even form here a falling wedge which of course is a very bullish pattern and if here we're gonna have a big breakout to the upside and also create here potential double bottom formation then i think the chances are very high that afterwards we're gonna see big explosive moves towards 70k and way higher levels so everything is gonna be depending how we're gonna react here in the next coming days if we're gonna get here a nice double bottom formation then also we have to wait until we are getting a nice buy signal in the hash ribbon indicator and of course also a buy signal here in my own indicator that in my opinion will then suggest that we're gonna see here big fireworks to the upside but until then i'm afraid that we're gonna stay in this 50k region or potentially even go lower to finally meet the 200 daily moving average somewhere in the low 40s and then have a big breakout to the upside and continue our bull market similar like we had in 2013. So even though we are here in the short term still quite bearish here and expect continuation to the downside or maybe go sideways here for a while, at the end I'm still very bullish for Bitcoin and I still expect that latest towards the end of the year we're gonna reach our cycle top but until then, the chance is very high that we're just going to go sideways here and we just have to be patient until we're going to have here clear signs that we're bottoming out and we should then be all in again in Bitcoin and we can ride this thing up towards the moon. And now let's go over to Ethereum because Ethereum right now is also breaking down after failing here to push above the 0.786 Fibonacci retracement level here at $4,200. Yesterday we managed to recover back above the 20 moving average in the four hour time frame, but we failed to push above this important Fibonacci retracement because this was the last resistance before we could see here new all time highs also for Ethereum. So we failed to push higher. And I think also because Bitcoin is again dropping, it's taking down Ethereum. So even though Ethereum is still looking extremely bullish in the bigger time frames, here we are taking a hit. And in my opinion, if we're gonna continue to fall here, we could even reach the 200 moving average in the four hour time frame, which is at around $3,000. So if we are not able here to recover straight back up above this important trend line here of $4,000, it's very likely that we could see our 3K retest here for Ethereum as long as Bitcoin is also falling. And now let's go over into the daily time frame because here you can see that Ethereum currently still at the nine daily moving average. So as soon as we are having some closes below the nine daily moving average, so below 4K, it's very likely that at least we're coming down to test the 20 daily moving average at $3,400. And if this one will not hold, we definitely are heading towards the bottom of the EMA ribbon here in the daily time frame, which is at $3,000. And if this is happening, we will still remain in our bullish structure here for ethereum this will be quite a huge move to the downside but after all we should be still remaining bullish because we are still in an uptrend here in the daily time frame and also still far away from the 200 daily moving average here at $1,500. So the Ethereum chart is still looking way more bullish than the Bitcoin chart for now. So we could even come down towards $3,000 and still remain in our uptrend while Bitcoin is in a downtrend in the daily time frame. Ethereum is still remaining very healthy and bullish. And you can see that also we have still extreme good money flow that is coming into Ethereum. So in the worst case scenario, if we're gonna have a big retracement back down towards 3K, we will still remain bullish and in my opinion that would be a good buy opportunity for the long term especially if Bitcoin is just going sideways or higher and another sign why Ethereum could maybe have a bigger fall down towards 3k is because in the Bitcoin dominance currently we are seeing a big spike here to the downside and this was immediately bought back up so we dropped here in the Bitcoin dominance very fast down towards 35% the last time we had such a low Bitcoin dominance was in 2017, right at the top when Ethereum topped out at $1,400. 
So we are seeing a very similar situation right now. And if here we're gonna have a big bounce to the upside in the Bitcoin dominance, in my opinion, that will lead into a massive correction in the altcoin space. And that's why I think that we could even reach 3K for Ethereum if here we're gonna have a big increase in the Bitcoin dominance again, because currently the altcoins are very much in profits because we had this big fall in the Bitcoin dominance. But if the Bitcoin dominance is again recovering towards 50% and maybe even higher, that of course could lead into a massive pump for Bitcoin and into some more consolidation or correction phase for the altcoins. And that's why if the Bitcoin dominance is now again rising up, that could be a warning sign for Ethereum and overall also for the altcoin space that in the next coming days and weeks, Bitcoin will outperform the altcoins. So maybe Bitcoin will take again the lead and push higher if we are able to recover fast now and uh, the altcoins could just continue to go sideways or lower until again the bitcoin dominance would start to fall so let's see what will happen here with the bitcoin dominance if here we're going to have a reversal that in my opinion will be very much in favor for the bitcoin price but not really much for the altcoins and in the opposite if here we're going to continue to fall that of course will lead into some more huge altcoin gains compared to Bitcoin. So sooner or later, we're going to see here a big reversal in the Bitcoin dominance. And then I think that Bitcoin will take the lead again and uh, hopefully push way more higher than the prices that we are seeing right now. Because like I told you, my friends, we are still far away from a cycle top. And even if we would get here some more consolidation phases towards low 40s, then in my opinion, this will be the last good buy opportunity for Bitcoin before we are taking completely off towards price levels way above 100k. And if we have now a look also into the DXY, you can see that we, yesterday we closed here at $90, again below our support trend line here of $90.50. So let's see where we're gonna trade here with the DXY next week. In my opinion, we are still shifted to the downside here. We're still in a downtrend and we're getting rejected here by the 20 daily moving average. So I still remain bearish here for the DXY and that of course is very much in favor for the crypto and stock market. And if we have a look into the stock stock market here, especially into NASDAQ. You can see that yesterday we had a nice push here to the upside towards the EMA ribbons. And uh, if we're gonna confirm here the buy signal by next week, then I'm expecting also here big continuations to the upside. But uh, of course we first have to close again daily candles above the EMA ribbons and above the 20 daily moving average here at $13,600. In that case, I'm expecting also here for NASDAQ new all time highs after we created here a lower high. And that could be also a very bullish sign for Bitcoin that we potentially here could bottom out very soon and then head again towards new all time highs and have explosive breakouts to the upside. In my opinion, it's just a matter of time until here we are bottoming out. We still have some big warning signs that we could still drop way lower. Also, if we have a look into the Keltner channels, you can see that we are still closing daily candles below the Keltner channels. And that is a very bearish sign, similar like we had here in this last correction. So as long as Bitcoin is trading below this important indicator, I still expect Bitcoin to go sideways or lower. And once we are able again to close daily candles within the Keltner channels then in my opinion the chance is very high that we could have at least a retest here of the median line here at around 54k and if we are bullish enough to even push higher towards the top here at $58,000 and then potentially start again to close daily candles above the Keltner channels because in that case we are back in a bull run and we can expect again big explosive moves to the upside towards new all-time highs but as long as we are trading below the Keltner channels and especially below the top of the Keltner channels, I just expect Bitcoin to go sideways or lower until we're gonna find a clear bottom here and continue to push higher towards new all time highs. So, with that said, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. If you like the content, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos, and a big shout out goes to Bitscap. 
they are offering to our community the pro plan for 14 days completely for free on Bitscap. you can just connect easily your exchanges to one platform and then run trading bots on them you can even do arbitrage so if you're interested then sign up with my link that you find here in the description like this you will get this 14 days free trial for the pro plan and afterwards if you're profitable you can upgrade to a monthly plan which is starting by only $19 a month and as you can see those trading bots are very profitable and another big shout out goes to our discord trading chat if you want to join our discord community use the invitation link that you find also here in the description and then go to here to read first and click on this thumbs up button to confirm that you're a human and not a bot like this you have free access to the trading chat and this is also the place where you can get access to my own indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals for bitcoin if you want to get access you just have to send me here a private message because a small donation is needed to get access to the indicator otherwise just get a youtube membership like this you also have access to the live stream directly here on youtube so thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one Bye.